To those of you who are watching this program, I want to invite you to join us in helping to rescue these children. The Care for Kids started uh, seven years ago uh, when it uh, came out now open. But all before that, we have a background of having children all through uh, before we made it now an organization that is a, 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 a child um, a CCI, charitable, charitable organization. This region has suffered from famine and drought and uh, certain areas of considerable poverty. So into this challenging world has come two marvelous people with a heart for these vulnerable children. And we're going to, uh, I want to thank you for welcoming us to your home today. Welcome. Yeah, we're very happy to be here, You're Patrick. Welcome. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Welcome. And we're going to invite you to join us as we learn together the stories of some of these beautiful children that they care for. And this boy I'm holding is called Joseph Ochieng. He was abandoned by the mother uh, at a nearby shop. And the mother departed and went away. He had his birth certificate and some clothing, and the mother departed. So a good kind lady took the boy to the children, to the police station, and the police station connected with the children care, and the children care called us. And so we picked him from that. He's just about a month with us here, and he's, all, he's one, one year and two weeks. And we thank God for him. He looks very healthy. He <laughs> looks very healthy. Yes. Moses uh, was abandoned by the roadside on your way to Iten. Mm -hmm. That is um, uh, just a, the, the next district, the, the, the neighboring district from this one. Yes. And uh, he was left just by, on the on the roadside uh, when he was just uh, barely a week, a week or so, a week or about eight days or yes. so. Yes. Yes. So we took him, took him to the hospital through the children the department again, and now he's here. He's a year and two weeks, and, and, and three weeks again also. Patrick, it is so moving for me to hear you tell this story. And even now, as I see it, is it Joseph in your arms? You were listening to him. Although he doesn't speak, he was crying. And you could see that he needed exactly what you're giving him now, touch. And how many children do you serve here now? Right now we have 26 children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we've just uh, uh, found uh, a relative who took two. Okay. Uh, because uh, they, we discovered a relative after the clashes. Then we discovered one and took two of them out. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we have 26. Now, well, with the plans that we have in our future plans is uh, to have a, a, a baby reception center because of the need that has emerged in our region uh, this region we call it was in Gishu. We now intend to put, uh, together with the partnership of uh, uh, Discover, Discover the World, we intend to put that in place mm -hmm. and uh, to make it functional, have a centre where we'll have abandoned baby put together uh, with intention to have these babies placed in other places where they will find a, a good refuge. Please join us in sponsoring children like these, like Caleb, Oh, like this beautiful Moses who has fallen asleep in Janice's arms. And like Marlon and like Joseph. You can see the love they're receiving is changing their lives. Won't you join us? Please call us or contact us or look upon our website at discovertheworld.org. Please join us in helping these marvelous people to rescue these children of Kenya. <laughs>